Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 101. I got the hiccups, sorry. <laughs> Just started. <laughs> anyway, I have been, excuse me, I have been very busy. Um, Yeah, so let's see what I have been up to. Uh, for starters, the elevator is, I, I figured it out. Um, um, there are some things that I discovered, uh, that, I mean, the information is available, but it's kind of like fractured. <laughs> it's not all together. It doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so you have, uh, the elevator base, the elevator frames, and the elevator collars. Uh, the elevator base is the floor. Uh, the frame has to go up all the way to the highest point where you want it to go. Um, the elevator collars have to be attached to an elevator frame. And it has to be attached one block above where you want it to stop. <laughs> and uh, the elevator bases ex extend six blocks per elevator base. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that, uh, because it's, it's kind of like stacking pistons on top of each other. If you, if you put enough pistons down, you can extend the first piston all the way up really high. Uh, so it's kind of like the same concept. So we got a bunch of elevator bases stacked on, underneath. Um, and that number of elevator bases will get me all the way to the top. Um, and I measured it <laughs> by making a, a column and then every six blocks, there's a gap, well, where an elevator collar could be for a different floor, I guess. Uh, you could put the floors anywhere, but uh, your elevator bases will only extend so far. So uh, I, I measured every six blocks. I wasn't sure if it was going to stop at the other spots. Uh, but it did, it worked perfectly. So let me show you. Uh, there are some other th things that I, I figured out. Okay, this does use pressure. And I got like a little guy over here. We got some pressure built up right now. I don't have any fuel in it. He's burning it up pretty fast. Um, and I have some security upgrades and speed upgrades here. Um, one thing to note, if you're just doing, because you could do like a one wide elevator and, and just one frame and go all the way up and you're good. Or you can do a two wide, but then you have other blocks. I didn't realize that. And when I first pushed the button, only the first one made it all the way to the top and the others were lagging behind. Uh, so each one of these sections has its own security and speed upgrade. And you know, I'm curious as, do I need to... Okay, so each one is connected to the one on top of it. So that's good. And so you don't have to put upgrades all the way down, just the ones on the top are what matters. Uh, but you do have to put uh, your speed upgrades, you have to have the same speed upgrades in each base in order for the machine to work properly. So let me show you. Like, if, if I don't have the speed upgrades in that one, <laughs> if 
it's just it's slower it can't keep up uh so that's why you have to make sure you got this speed upgrades in all of them oh yeah check it out i love this though it's great i ha i had I had more speed upgrades in them, uh, but this is about the speed that I want it to go. And any faster, and like, dude, if I wanted to get there fast, I would just use my teleporter. <laughs> but I want a good view. Uh, see, and this is what happens. Yeah, there was a lot of jumping and jerking around going on <laughs> so yeah that's really good um so right now i've got the three floors and you can uh change once you get uh your elevator collars down and attached you can edit the na the names by going over here to the floor names and you can just change it to whatever you want just by typing in here Ta -da! oh look it finally updated to say the max extension so i could go up to 90 meters which is pretty cool i like it <laughs> so my dreams are coming true i just have to uh have to, have to do a lot of work on the elevator shaft uh area oh it's gonna be so great and here's the top part sweet the cool thing about um the two by two is that when i put the frames on each of the blocks it made its own multi-block structure so i i don't think my four by four area would have worked until i put the fr the frames in every section i'm not 100 percent sure about that though so i have done tons of other stuff <laughs> um I, I I was wanting to get more into pneumatic craft because uh, I'm I was kind of getting sick of having to swap uh, the tanks around all the time. Uh, so I kind of automated this and I ran some dense cables so I could have tons of channels over here. Um, and I have 10 on this one section just with uh, import buses, export buses. Uh, I just have this using the gasoline right now. And it's not going very efficiently because the temperature is too high. <laughs> uh, I put some heat sinks down here, but they're just not they're not cutting it. I need to get a better way to cool these guys off. I even had to take, I mean, I could probably change this up a little bit and uh, maybe even relocate, uh, relocate those somehow so that I could get the other two engines on there because uh, I had to take them off because they were interfering with the uh, the heat of this block because they do actually have a temperature so I think it was interfering with this and this was like 90 degrees down here so it's some more plastic Yes, uh, yes, I had a problem where I, I couldn't go and <laughs> I couldn't make my plastic, so I had to fix that before I could continue. 
Uh, so it's just the two right now, uh, but it seems to be pretty stable. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably try to rework this somehow to get the uh, the engines or the compressors <laughs> away from uh, you know these guys, so they can do their thing and these can do their thing <laughs> all by themselves. And not have to worry about it heating these these guys up because yeah like the top temperature was like 2000 degrees or something and this was like 90. Uh, so i could probably scooch these um out and put the pipes on the front instead of the back and that would pull it away the engines away from there and give me a little bit more room uh -oh. so yeah maybe i'll uh no I'll oh i still have all of these to empty out uh there is one other thing that i did because i wanted to uh get all of this automated i needed a place to store all the different liquids so um i made a couple of fluid discs and put them over here um they were only really being used for like, transferring to the storage the actual storage so i put two discs because i have six different liquids and i wanted to make sure i had enough different types for them to handle all of the different uh, liquids so what i did was dun, 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 industrial foregoings black hole controller and i i looked in the book i mean check this out this is this is crazy <laughs> this book contains everything you need to know about industrial foregoing except for the black hole controller and the black hole tanks there's I, i've been looking and there is nothing about the black hole tanks there's stuff about the infinity tools it transports resource gathering I just I don't know um it, I figured it would be under miscellaneous or even this uh the index but there's nothing 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 I'm looking again, obviously, because I can't believe there's like nothing in here for it. There's nothing. Uh, but basically, it's like the storage controller, but for fluids. Uh, well, the black hole controller can actually hold uh, black hole units, which will handle items as well um i used to call this deep storage it used to be i think a mod specifically called deep storage that did this at a long long time ago and then i guess mine factory reloaded kind of adopted it <laughs> and made it its own so yeah you can have i guess 16 black hole tanks for things in there and i put the supreme black hole tanks in there uh, just, well I, I had the stuff for it so that's why <laughs> I, I was able to do it i set up all of the uh auto crafting recipes over at the dyer factory because that's where my industrial foregoing stuff is all automated so um i did add like another import bus over here just so i could 
go and empty these guys. I did put that is with four accelerator cards in there, so uh, yeah, I will do these camera as it goes in there. But I'm so excited to to have that <laughs> elevator. That is amazing. <laughs> um, I'm definitely definitely going to be like redesigning this whole thing <laughs> just so I can have a nice view coming down of all the wonderful contraptions that I built. Oh, and okay, so when you come up here, if your elevator isn't there, you just go and you click on the floor that you are at. So you do that and it will call the elevator. <laughs> now it's going to take it a minute because we're all the way at the top, but it should be here. Um, so I need to get some blocks around here. Also, these frames are like bamboo. If I were to go and break the bottom of one of these guys, oh, he just grabbed me. <laughs> Did you see that? He grabbed me. Um, so just come over here, get on your elevator, and then take a snazzy little ride all the way down. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh man. Oh, see here's some of the little jerking. Uh it's a little bit buggy, but um maybe help. <laughs> then it like drops you. <laughs> Boop. So yes, I've been having lots of fun with my elevator. Um, I'm going to get this guy automated. It takes, it takes pressure, but it hasn't gone down very quickly. So I'm happy about that. Sweetness. Um, now that I have, uh, this dense cable over here, I'm thinking of running it, um, over this way so that I can get uh, all of this stuff automated. Um, what, what happened? I thought, I thought I had cable running down here. Like, what the? What? Like, my cable is just gone. Oh my god, it's gone there, too. What happened? Nothing else was janktified. So it's just this, this section, dude, that's like right on the chunk boundary. Yes, what happened? Hmm, that's, that's not good. Um, I think what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and claim those chunks. Just so like the whole nine, they're just done. Is this, this is the Dire Factory 2. Why is it him loaded? Oh, because I think he's got some... 
other things over there. There's the tree farm. I don't know. I don't know what happened just then. Also, um, since I took the mob farms down, I'm not getting... I'm not getting my mob juice <laughs> to run my farm. So my tree farm, my uh, source. I'm not getting the source to run these farms anymore. Uh, so I need to either get that set back up or take those offline. So I don't know, but this, this is weird. I mean, it's working still. I'm like, there's no import buses or anything, but it's still working. <laughs> it's, like, it's possessed. There's no power to it either. Look, it's completely disconnected. It's not even on a channel. I mean, it is. But it's not. So I have no idea. What is going on? Um, uh, this one did just fine. And it, it disappeared down here too. Did, yeah, it disconnected over here. Well, it's not really disconnected. These disconnected. My turbine is completely shut down. No, it says it's working. It's at the right stuff. It's just not going. It's engaged. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. I wonder if they just need like a block update. No, you can't see the little um, doodads inside there or anything. I don't know if I should mess with it. It's working, but it's not. <laughs> it shouldn't be working, but it, it is. Like, can I go make some uh, compressed iron. Um, let's do this. Craftable. <laughs> it, it's up. It's making it. I can hear it. So I think there was like 256 um Yeah, it made it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I leave it? Do I fix it? Um, it's just, uh, I have no idea what happened. It, it must have just been a chunk loading error or, but it's not like a full error. The blocks aren't there, but they are. There are all the machines are working. Items are getting sucked back into the system. Um, I 
I'm tempted to, I think I might wait until I log out and log back in and see if maybe that helps, <laughs> helps it a little, um, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, that has been the majority of what I have been doing. Um, I do want to check on uh, cyanide. Oh, look at that, 1.9K. It is a pretty good amount. So yeah, I, I want to spend some more time updating my engines. Like, I don't understand. Why do I want to upgrade my compressors to output more than five bars of pressure if my pressure chamber can only <laughs> hold five bars. Um, so is there a way? Hmm. I don't know if the vol the volume does air capacity. Would that increase the amount of bars it can handle? Is there like a reinforced uh, pressure chamber? Um. I guess not. Well, how are you supposed to advance pressure tubes up to it? Just not. Hmm. Okay, so what is that? Oh, I gotta do this. I had a crap. Oh boy, I got a lot of reading to do. Um, so what I think is in between episodes i'm probably gonna try and read some more about the pneumatic craft stuff because i mean i know the basics but i don't know um you know a lot of the more advanced things <laughs> so that would be good to get brushed up on and stuff um, I have looked at the different compressors, like there's just, I think, uh, the liquid compressor outputs five as well, but that's like the others either do 10 or 15. So where is the advantage to that? If your pressure chamber only goes to five. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, is there an upgrade for your pressure chamber that will allow it to have more bars? Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to read these in between episodes, see what I can learn. <laughs> see if uh, I can resist the temptation to fix this before I log off. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!